Getting started with passive income. Tips and tricks for beginners. Building a passive income stream is a brilliant idea as it is always worth the while. However, it isn't always easy at the start of the process. It takes time, money, and effort. Sometimes it leaves you a bit disturbed as to where to begin. But as usual, we've got you covered. In today's video, we will discuss how to get started with passive income, the tips and the tricks for beginners. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to Passive Income Ideas and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, let's get into it. Number one, research your ideas. Suppose you're thinking of getting started on the passive income idea. In that case, we will advise that you take time out to conduct a fast search for current businesses in your desired sector. Discover what's currently being done, how others are doing it, and how you can do it better. If you believe you can provide something that others cannot, then go ahead and develop a business plan to enable you to get a steady passive income. To do this, start by asking yourself why. This will help you distinguish whether the business serves a personal why or a marketplace why. If it focuses on meeting the demand of a large market, you are right on your way to a great start. Take a step further to determine who your target clients are to focus on how you will offer this value to your clients and how you will convey the value in a manner that they will pay for. Lastly, it is essential if the concept is something you're enthusiastic about. If not, you may want to come up with another one. Number two, access your skills. Like we rightly said, your passion for whatever you decide to do is a significant factor in succeeding in the business. In most cases, you may have the passion but not the skills. In most passive income business lines, you do not necessarily necessarily have to be present to get the job done. The point here it is, accessing your skills early enough will enable you to know your capabilities towards the business. Be realistic about your abilities and consider how you might utilize them to help others without being physically there or working every day. Evaluate your skills to know what you are not excellent at. You can decide to hire professionals in that field when you genuinely believe you cannot do it. After you've assessed your skills and limitations, evaluated any limits, and pondered what would make you achieve great success with your idea. Number three plan your time. Everyone considers passive income for the long-term role of making money while you sleep. However, the truth is, there is absolutely no business that can be built without work. More often than not, creating a passive income stream may take a lot more time and effort than a typical side job to get it up and running at first. It is vital to plan your time to avoid interference and setbacks from the start. Check out all you currently have going on in your life, starting with your family and overall lifestyle. Find out if you genuinely have the time before you venture into it. Not having the time should not deter you from your dreams. Remember, there are other ways around these things. You can also think about investing or hiring someone else to help you with the heavy work or both. Number four, consider your finances. Here is a significant factor to consider before starting a passive income stream. To find the best ways to make money that doesn't require any work, you need to set clear goals and plans. Money and time are two things that you'll need to plan. Having an initial set out capital is vital as it is impossible to invest in a business without having the funds. While planning, the funds always overestimate how much money you need to start your business because it can take a long time to start making a profit. Many businesses fail because they run out of money before they make money. In the beginning, think about what you can do to cut down on your overall fixed costs. Get to know how much money you'll need to make to pay for all the startup expenses, which products or services yield passive income, and which ones do you have to put in place to help your business stand, such as rentals and furnishing depending on the type of business. Number five, source for funds. Now that you have a great passive income idea and have checked through to realize you do not have the funds to kick off. Your last bet will be to source for funds. There are several options one can look into to get funds for your business. Note, however, that sometimes it depends on some factors such as your creditworthiness, the available options, and the amount you need. One of the fantastic available options will be investors. Startups that require a lot of money up front may want to hire an investor. Before taking this step, it is vital to know that most people willing to invest in a new business are more inclined to do so if they get a say in its operation. In some cases, this might not go well with your plans. Another option option to start with a passive income idea is taking a loan. A commercial loan from a bank is an excellent place to start. These can be hard to get though, but with the proper documentation, you stand a chance. Some private organizations and individuals are willing to grant loans to individuals on various grounds. Alternatively, you could start an equity crowdfunding campaign to raise small amounts of money for many people. Many trustworthy crowdfunding platforms have helped many businesses in the last few years. Number six, be focused when spending. Not spending too much money when you start a business will benefit you in the long run. Find out what kind of things your business needs and don't spend money on something that won't help you reach your goals. Monitor your business expenses to make sure you are on track. The whole idea is to start spending money wisely. Some passive income ideas are not exactly cheap to set up. Bear in mind that small changes can add up quickly. Assess whether you're making the most of your physical workspace. If your passive income idea involves more people who work from home, then go ahead and cut the size of your office to save money on rent and other things. Look into ways to reduce 
reduce your energy. Try to see if you can buy gas, internet, and electricity, or phone as a package to save money. Carry out a market survey to compare the cost of things like insurance or cell phone service and ask vendors if they offer discounts for buying in bulk. If you run into losses, deal with the deficit as soon as possible to avoid long-term problems. Number 7. Have a business plan. Confused about what this is about? We'll tell you more. Business plans are living documents that show how your business will work and how much money you will make, what your company will target, how it will be organized, what the market looks like, how you plan to market your service or product. It also covers how much money you need, your financial projections, and which permits, leases, or other documents will be required. Writing out a business plan is an excellent way to guide yourself and show other people that your business idea is worth pursuing. It's the best way to step back, look at your idea from all angles, and figure out how to deal with problems years down the road before you start facing challenges. Number 8. Build a nest egg Before we elaborate on this very vital tip, we will proceed to let you know what a nest egg is all about. A nest egg is used to refer to a collection of money that has been put away for the future. Your nest egg may be made up of cash, term deposits, real estate that pays you rent, or even shares that pay you dividends. These assets can be sold or starched away as passive income to make money for you while you rest. The long-term goal of the nest egg as a passive income is to make money for you when you can't or don't want to work in your old age. A passive income producing nest egg gives you the freedom to work when and how you want in the future and enables you to spend more time on critical things. It's essential to make intelligent investment decisions for your retirement and choose a financial advisor who will look at your whole financial situation from a strategic point of view. The best way to save money is to open a high-interest savings account and put as little as $100 in it. A small amount of money may not seem like a lot, but you'll earn interest on that money. And many banks will give you cash for opening such an account with them. Overall, passive income can be a great way to make extra money, whether you're running a side business or just need a little extra cash each month. It can help you earn more during good times and help you get by if you lose your job or take time off of work. Passive income sources require a lot of work and, of course, good capital at the start. However, get it right from the start. After all the effort, you'll realize that these income streams will start to grow and become more stable, bringing you steady money without you having to do much work or, better still, do anything at all. Implementing our tips and tricks will help you set the ball rolling in a fantastic way. Did you find help in our tips and tricks? Please tell us what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Passive Income Ideas and hit the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching.